here at the north end of the drill field outside of dorm 11 right <laughs> and uh, I had the drum section in a circle of about 12 12 15 guys with their drums I said okay we're gonna start out with quarter notes and we're gonna lead with our right hand huh? per measure and just do quarter notes and we did that for about I'm gonna say about two minutes maybe five just quarter notes and I said okay now we're gonna to jump to eighth notes and we're gonna all stay together now right hand lead <laughs> da, 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 da. now okay they did that we did that for about a couple of minutes then I said okay now we're gonna do 16th notes and we got to stay together the 16th and they all were doing pretty good I said okay now the next thing we're gonna do is called a drum roll all that is is a 16th note times two <laughs> makes sense 30 second notes and we got to be together right hand leads we'll start off with the 16th and then I'll say roll <laughs> and they did that and they found that with my modification of the drums putting a baby diaper under the top okay head and tightening up the snares as best I could because Colonel Adams couldn't afford sure gut snares or cable snares why would you <laughs> yeah they were amazed that it was together that right. a drum roll could actually be together not our continuous roar sure but a 50 caliber machine gun going off exactly and that's how I introduced drum percussion coordination and I said now we're going to do that and keep it up we kept that up for about 10 minutes wow we just kept going and going and going they didn't going. know what hit them around here no and I said, Man, this <laughs> what is, is amazing going on and amazing. <laughs> okay so after we got through that I handed out the, the new cadence sure and it was Colonel Adams stamp on it right I said now it didn't take the senior class to approve this it didn't take my no. junior class no, no. and you freshmen and sophomores forget it you're going to play it anything because i said right. so but colonel adam's signature in the lower right hand corner that means he wants it played it has to be done i gotta tell you though i didn't have to sell hard with the colonel he yeah. loved it to begin with i played it outside of his office that summer at summer school right i was going to summer school and uh, he said that'll work perfect and I explained to him why. It's because we were playing cadence number one twice. We were playing cadence number two twice. And we were playing cadence number three twice. But in the heat of the march, you forget whether right. you played it once or did you play it exactly. twice. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so I developed uh, eight major companions to those three and changed the first cadence all together. Sure and made it a 16 bar and a 16 bar with a dotted quarter note rest in between so that we could put the roll off. Yes, I understand what you're saying. the entire 16, you could just play it. <laughs> and, 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 and then bang. Evolution happens, right. and when things work well, they've been there for a long time. <laughs> well, all I did is take what was good and make it better. Exactly. And, you know, that's basically that's the right. Aggie tradition right there. Uh, I will say though, whenever we got everybody, I had to get the, the drum uh, line here early. And so I had to convince Colonel Adams to send a letter to everybody along with a copy of sure. the cadence uh, to get here earlier. So that we would be ready to go when the whole band got here up there in, that, in the band. Right. Room. You wanted to be prepared. Right. And so whenever we all got in there in the band room, he says, okay, drummers, roll off into cadence <laughs> and, and we played it and I'll tell you what we got a big yuah yep. coming from everybody else several years later after I got out of the service three years after duty and, and uh, about a year or so after that I uh, found in it was in the spring of 69 five years after I got, I got uh, out of a &M. Colonel Adams was a keynote speaker at the Tyler A&M Club. Okay. So I decided, since I was in Tyler building the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company plant, uh, not Goodyear, it was... Uh, Kelly Tire Goodyear. Kelly Springfield. It was Kelly Springfield. Yes, sir. Kelly Springfield. We were just Her dad was the manager of that plant. Really? World. 
good, Mac. Yeah, I was just finishing that, and then we built the GE plant on the south side of town. And uh, so I said, well, I got to go to hear Colonel Adams speak. And we're sit I'm sitting out there in the midst of a big crowd of folks. He stands up there, and he looks at the crowd of folks, and he picks me out. He says, John King, <laughs> stand up. Now, there's a musician. There you go. And sit me down. <laughs> he says, it's he over wrote, with. He says, he wrote my cadence. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't quit. That's the way it is now. It's the way it is now. So that's the story of this spot. That's exactly <laughs> it. Thank you so much.